Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the set matrix zeros problem. Given an M by N matrix, if an element is zero, set its entire row and column to zero. Do it in place. Here they give you two examples. In the first example, this is the input. As you can see, there is only one zero in the entire matrix. So the output is this. Because this is a zero here, you have to make the entire column a zero, and also the entire row all zeros. In example two, whenever there is a zero, you make the entire column all zeros, as you can see, and the entire row all zeros. Also here, the entire row becomes all zeros and the entire column becomes all zeros. So it says a straightforward solution using big O of m times n space is probably a bad idea. A simple improvement uses big O of m plus n space, but still not the best solution. Could you devise a constant space solution? Alright, so how can we solve this problem? Well, some people might think initially that they can just iterate through the matrix, and whenever they see a zero, they can just make the entire row for that zero all zeros and the entire column all zeros. But this approach is not going to work because by the end of the iteration you will find that the entire matrix has become zeros. So in this case we need to use extra space, we need to use um, uh, we need a way to mark which rows we have to make zeros and which columns we have to make zeros. So as you can see down here if you use a two-dimensional array to mark the positions that you have to make zeros and the positions that you have to, I mean the rows that you have to make zeros and the columns that you have to make zeros, then that's going to work if you use like a 2D array for that. But the time, the space complexity is going to be big O of m times n, which is a bad idea. And then you can also use an array rows and an array columns to mark which rows and columns you have to make zeros but then the space complexity will be big O of m plus n. So this is not the best solution. So what can we do if we want to have constant space? Well, what we can do is that we can use the first row, we can use the first row to mark which columns we want to make zeros. And we can use the first column to mark which rows we have to make zeros. So this is the approach. By using the first row and the first column to mark which rows and columns we have to nullify, we can do this in constant space, with constant space. So we can have two variables initially to mark if the first row and the or the first column itself have to be nullified, have to meet, have to be all zeros at the end. And then we can traverse the entire matrix and check um, if if we have to nullify row i or column j and use the first column of the first row to mark um, that information, to mark that row that, or to mark that column. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have to check, so I'm going to say if matrix equals equals null or matrix that length equals equals zero or matrix sub zero that length equals equals zero then I just return because the input is not valid then I will have integer m gets a value of matrix that length n gets a value of matrix sub zero that length then as I said I will have two boolean variables to mark if the first row or the first column itself have to be nullified at the end of the of the algorithm so I will have boolean first row zero gets the value of false first column zero gets the value of false. Then I will check if I have to nullify um, the first row. So I will say for integer j gets the value of zero. J is less than the number of columns plus plus j if matrix sub zero sub j 
equals equals zero. That means that the first row at position J has a zero. So I will have to nullify the first row at the end. So I will mark it using this Boolean variable. First row zero gets a value of true and I break because I know that there's at least one zero in the first row so I mark that I have to nullify this first row and I break out of the loop. I don't have to continue the iteration because I already know that there's a zero there. I do the same for the first column so for integer i gets a value of zero. i is less than number of rows plus plus i so if matrix sub i sub zero equals equals zero that means that there's at least one zero in this column so I can say first column zero gets a value of true and break all right so now I can use the first row or the first column to mark which rows and columns I have to make zeros in the entire matrix. So I will iterate from position from row 1, column 1. So I will not be considering the first row in the first column. So I will say for integer i is a value of 1. i is less than number of rows plus plus i. For integer j is a value of 1. j is less than number of columns plus plus j. Then, if matrix sub i sub j equals equals 0, I will use the first row and the first column to mark that I have to nullify this entire row and this entire column. So I will say matrix sub 0 sub j gets the value of 0, and matrix sub i sub 0 gets the value of 0. So as you can see, I'm using the first row to mark that I have to nullify column J and I'm using the first column to mark that I have to nullify row I. So once I do that, I have all the information I need in the first row and the first column to make the corresponding rows and columns all zeros. So I can just iterate again, so for integer i gets a value of 1, i is less than the number of rows, plus plus i, for integer j gets a value of 1, j is less than the number of columns, plus plus j, then if matrix sub i sub 0 equals equals 0, or matrix sub 0 sub j equals equals zero. I will say matrix sub i sub j gets a value of zero. So what am I doing here? So what I'm doing is that I'm iterating through the entire matrix again and then I'm checking if the first row I'm checking if the first column has a zero uh, for row i. If that's the case, that means that I have to nullify row i. I'm also checking if the, f if the first row has a zero for column j. If that's the case, that means that I have to nullify the entire column j. And I do so by saying matrix sub i sub j gets a value of zero. This will make sure that every time I see a zero for row i in the first column or every time I see a zero for column J in the first row I always uh, set the corresponding value for that row or column to zero. Then the only the only step I have left is to use the first row variable and the first column variable to check if I have to notify the first row itself or the first column itself. So I will say if first row zero if that's the case, then I'm going to nullify the first row itself. So I'm going to say for integer j, gets a value of 0, j is less than number of columns, plus plus j, matrix 
sub 0 sub j gets the value of 0. And this will make the entire first row all zeros. Because there was at least one zero as I, uh, when I checked before. And I do the same for the first column. If, if I have to nullify the first column, if first column 0, then I will say for integer i gets the value of 0. i is less than number of rows plus plus i matrix sub i sub 0 gets a value of 0. Okay, I'm going to run the code. We are testing the code before I submit my solution. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. Alright, this is working perfectly. One millisecond faster than 100% of Java online submissions for set matrix zeros. So, as you can see, the time complexity is big O of m times n. And the space complexity is big O of 1. We are using constant space. As you can see, they were asking you, could you devise a constant space solution? And we were able to do that. We didn't have to, we didn't have to use um, like a rows uh, array or a columns array. And we didn't have to use uh, another matrix to solve this problem. We only used the first row and the first column to mark the corresponding rows and columns that we had to make zeros. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.